Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to figure out the confidence level in a problem if it's not given to you. So how to figure out the confidence level. Confidence level. So sometimes you're doing a hypothesis test and then like at the end of the problem, it will say, find a confidence interval but it won't give you the confidence level. So how do you do it? So let me show you. So let me just give you two examples and that should clear it up. Let's say that you're doing our hypothesis test for two means. So your null is mu1 equals mu2. So the first population mean is equal to the second population mean. And let's say your alternative hypothesis is mu1 not equal to mu2. So this test here, this is called a two-tailed test. So whenever it's not equal to, it's called two-tailed. It's called two-tailed. So if you have a two-tailed test, um, all you do is you do one minus alpha to get your confidence level. So for example, say your alpha is 0.01, then your confidence level would just be one minus 0.01, so that would be 0.99. That's it, that's the confidence level. Say your alpha was 0.05, then in this case it would be one minus 0.05, so you would just get 0.95. That's it, that's your confidence level. So whenever it's two-tailed, okay, whenever it's two-tailed, the confidence level is always one minus alpha, okay? That's the formula for the level always. That's the level. Okay, let's say instead you had something that was different. So say we have the null hypothesis, again, mu1 equals mu2. And then the alternative hypothesis, uh, mu1, let's do less than mu2. Or it could even be greater than. So in this case, this hypothesis test is not called two-tailed. This hypothesis test is called one-tailed. So whenever it's one-tailed, the formula for the confidence level is just one minus two alpha. It's like you're making it two-tailed. So here's an example. Let's say that uh, the, your alpha is 0 0.01. So if it's one-tailed, so it means if you have a less than or a greater than, you first have to multiply it by two. So that gives us 0 0.02. Then you just do one minus that. So that would be 0 0.98. And that's it. That's your confidence level. Say it was 0 0.05. Well, again, since it's one-tailed, you first multiply it by two. So that gives you 0 0.10. Then you would just do one minus 0 0.10. That would give you 0 0.90. And that's it. That's your level. So if it's two-tailed, if you have a not equal to, you just do one minus alpha. Really, really simple. If it's one-tailed, you first have to multiply it by two and then you do one minus that result. So again, sometimes you're just doing a hypothesis test and it'll say at the end of the problem, find a confidence level, so find a confidence, confidence interval and it won't give you the level. So hopefully now um, you can do it, that's it.